This is Allie Havens reporting for Free Keen TV. They're kind of showing their economic theory, which is sort of based on this idea that what makes an economy healthy is the perception of a healthy economy. People end up investing in these projects they think they're going to go all the way in, and then they become malinvestments because the money dries up. One of the main actors in this global crisis is the United States Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve, or more simply, the Fed, is a fractional reserve central banking system which controls monetary policy. It sets reserve rates for all the banks holding its dollars, and also artificially manipulates interest rates by providing loans to the federal government. That there are probably people um, watching this right now who are offended that we would suggest that the United States is, isn't free. What I want to convey is that just the belief that no matter what policies the government that you live under holds over you, that you still consider yourself to be the freest country in the world, well, that's what allows it to happen. In international news, Mexican victims of violence are coming to the United States for a caravan for peace. The caravan is also demanding an immediate suspension of U.S. aid to the Mexican armed forces, a reorientation of the funds. During my investigation, I sat down with a couple of the activists who have been issued these no trespassing orders to find out what they think of the orders. Starting out local news tonight, we have followed the story of independent journalist Jason Talley in the court case the state has levied against him. Jason was arrested last fall for possessing a camera in the lobby of Superior Court. Today was the state's trial for Jason Talley. He was defended by former police officer Bradley Jardis. Apparently, prosecutor John Webb filed the wrong paperwork. Webb asked the judge to reduce the charges to Class B misdemeanors. We have a tragedy of the commons issue in which, you know, when the park's first made, it's beautiful, everyone likes it, and then it doesn't take long for it to turn into what we have now, where everyone's figuring over the park, who should be there, whose park is this. I think a private institution would do a much better job at sort of sorting these things out. And so, the relationship between the Federal Reserve and the federal government is something of a symbiotic relationship in the pursuit of war. Mally Haven saying, give peace chance.